Hello kids, how are you? And welcome back again to our video lessons in English Word. This is your teacher advisor, Mr. Ray D. Monticillio. At this point of time, I want you to prepare your module, one ball pen, and listen carefully to our instructions. And so, this is now our learning module, English Word, quarter one, week four. Before we are going to proceed, Write first your name, address, you have already, grade level, 4, and then the name of your school, Tagum Yushu School, and then the name of your teacher, Ray D. Montesilde. And now, let's proceed to the next page of our module. At the end of this lesson, you're expected to find and then circle the letters that make the F sound and spell words with the F sound. Write sentences from dictation. The reference that I am using, rainbows in English for, can be found on page 26. And for this, for this video class, we will be learning about the spelling words with the F sound. Now we have here the following words. Let's find the letter or letters that make the F sound. We have from the column A, column B, column C, and column D. The following words in the column A, Father, Friendly, Rough, Fiesta. In the column B, Puff, Half, Staff, Stuff. In the column C, Phrase, Graph, Telephone, Photograph. In the column D, calf, laugh, enough, tough. Those are words that have the F sound. Now let's proceed to our exercises. So you are going to do this. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate letter or letters just to complete the words with the F sound. Okay, for number one, your teacher will be the one to answer, and this will serve as your bonus. Glass is smooth, sandpaper is rough. So, you're just going to add G and H. And the rest of the following questions, you will be the one to answer from 2 up to 8. Now, let's proceed to the next page. On this page, we have here writing sentences from dictation. You have learned in this lesson that a sentence expresses a complete thought. Its first word begins with a capital letter. It ends with a punctuation mark. Now, let's have an exercise. Listen as your teacher dictates sentences in class. Write each sentence on the space provided. Use the correct spelling, proper capitalization, and proper punctuation mark. Okay, instructions. Each sentence will be read once only. Okay, number one. Ducks and chickens supply our daily needs for eggs. Number two, cows, carabaos, and goats give fresh milk. Number three, some Filipino households have two or more of these animals. And number four, domesticated animals help Filipinos financially as well. And number five, Filipinos can sell the products produced by chickens and cows. Okay, so I hope that you have wrote already each sentence in the space provided. Now let's proceed to the next page of our module. Now in this page, let us test yourself. Instructions. 
practice yourself answering the following activities from your English book on page 29 and 30. Activity A and D only. On activity A, you have to circle the word in each group that has different stress on page 29. Example number 1. Collect, correct, polite, colonial. And the word that has a different stress is colonial. Since the word colonial have three syllables. Colonial. Next, let's proceed to activity D. Circle the simple subject and underline the simple predicate in each sentence on page 30. Now, let's talk about the subject and predicate. For example, the dog is barking outside. For example, for this sentence, number one, the dog is barking outside. So, we encircle the word dog since we consider this as a subject. And we underline the word barking since we consider this word as your predicate. What is subject? When you say subject, it is the noun in the sentence. Next, barking. We underline the word barking since Barking is considered as predicate. Now, what is predicate? When we say predicate, it is the word that describes the noun. So, this word labeled as subject and this word labeled as predicate. Okay, so at this point of time, our lesson has ended. I hope that you have learned something in our English lesson. Thank you for listening and see you again on the next video.